Hello Forever family. I like to ride my bike. I like to commute by bike as much as I can. Uh, cycling would be my first choice of exercise. In Cleveland, cycling outside is something you cannot do year round. If you want to stay in shape, you have to take your bike indoors. Now there are these devices that are called resistance trainers that you can put your bicycle on. You mount it on this resistance trainer and then you can use your bike inside and you can pedal away in one place. Or if you're fancy, you get one of those Peloton things and then in the summer you have like a $3,000 laundry rack. Riding your bike on one of these trainers is an okay solution, but it doesn't come close to riding your bike outside. In fact, many cyclists dread this in the winter time. It's monotonous. It, it takes the joy out of riding a bike and it simply turns it into being exercise. Many cyclists set up their bikes in their basements or low traffic areas. So when you do this, it's almost an annual thing in the winter. You set up your bike inside. You set up what we call your pain cave. It's the place where pain happens. Now, let me ask you this. Are you in the pain cave right now? I don't mean, are you exercising? I don't mean, are you in your basement riding a bike in one place? I mean, are you in the pain cave right now? Are you experiencing some sort of pain? Maybe you feel stuck in the pain cave right now. Maybe simply because you're stuck inside. You can't get out, you can't do things that you normally do. Maybe there's pain that's creeping in from all those familiar places or it's coming back from even uh, maybe old habits or maybe even from new places. Maybe there's something that you need recovery from. This makes me think that we need to cling to principle two right now. Principle two says, earnestly believe that God exists, that I matter to him, and that he has the power to help me recover. If you are in the pain cave right now, I wanna offer three possible solutions. First is to stop resisting. Stop resisting. There is something in your life that God does not want in your life. There's something that is outside of his will for your life and he wants something better, but you are resisting God and you're wanting to do it your own way. You're wanting to play God. Proverbs 3 says, For the Lord disciplines the one he loves, just as a father disciplines the son in whom he delights. The Lord disciplines us because he wants to refine us. He wants us to make us a better person, a more Christ-like person. Discipline is not fun. Change is hard, but God is doing it for a reason. Our sin causes us pain, and then when we resist God wanting to remove that sin, it doubles the pain. Riding your bike day after day down in the pain cave is not always fun. But day after day, if you ride your bike, you're gonna come out on the other side a changed person. You're gonna come out on the other side a better person and it is healthy for you. Second, remember your purpose. Corinthians tells us this, but we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that the surpassing power belongs to God and not to us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. We're vessels. We're vessels. We are jars of clay. What is the value of a simple jar of clay? It has no value except for what it is carrying on the inside. We are empty vessels designed to carry the power of God. The power is not ours but belongs to God. We must remember that we are not God. God calls us to train. 
Whether it is down in the pain cave or it is out on a beautiful trail in the metro parks, we are called to God's purposes. And that is to be a vessel to carry the very power of God. Third, look forward. When I say look forward, I mean look to eternity. Look to what God has in store for you. This time is just a mist and then it's gone. When you are down in the pain cave, it feels like you're going to be down there forever. It feels like you're going to be stuck in the basement forever, but that's simply not true. This pandemic alone has felt like an eternity, but we are not creatures made for this world. We are new creations, and we are sitting right now in the waiting room to heaven. Psalm 73 says this, You guide me with your counsel, and afterward you will receive me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is nothing on earth that I desire beside you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. We have to look forward because when we are in the pain cave, it feels like we're going to be there forever. But the truth is, we are not going to be there forever. Let me ask you, are you in the pain cave? Do you need to stop resisting what God has for you? Maybe it's discipline. Maybe it's something that needs to change in your life and you haven't been addressing it. Or maybe you haven't been remembering your purpose. Or you haven't been remembering your place. You've forgotten that you are not God, but you are a jar of clay made to carry the power of God inside you. Or maybe you're not looking forward enough. Maybe you're looking at this present time, or even worse, maybe you're looking to the past. Look forward to eternity, to what God has in store for us. Your focus questions this week are, are you in the pain cave right now? Or have you recently been in the pain cave? What is God teaching you through that? And finally, how is hardship a pathway to peace? I'll see you next week, Forever Family. I miss you. I look forward to the day when we can meet again in person. God bless.